for their life. Um, good evening, dear friends and lovers of freedom. Anywhere you are in the world, we are reaching to you live from the office of our able barrister and attorney at law, Barrister Ifani Ejiofo. Today we are coming to you from the stables of Umuchuku writers and uh, we want to get uh, a brief from him. Our leader was recently, a few days ago, granted bail and discharged. He wasn't granted bail anyway, he was discharged of all the charges against him and was asked to leave the facilities of the DSS. And today, our lawyer went to obtain the judgment from the appeal court. So we'd like to hear from him at least to get a briefing from him on the, on the issue relating his immediate release. Thank you very much, Barista, and good evening. Dear friends, we want to hear from uh, you. Thank you, dear friends, all over the world. Um, I promised before now that we, should, we are going to keep people in touch and updated as to development going forward. However, first of all, let me appreciate the entire effort of Agwacha, who has always been here, flowing up and down to ensure that people are away I uh, keep our uh, breast of what's going on regarding the release of my going into the camp. Now the camp. Uh, to the, of course, you are aware that this gentleman was delivered on 13th of um, October. That was last week, Thursday. So, and uh, we were the first to assess this, doc doc this document today. The citizens of the document, we were the first to have access to it today. And the same has been served on the Attorney General of the Federation and also the Director General of the SSS. I just left here not quite long ago. And today was the first time. We are formally bringing the development, this development, good news to Mazi, when the Mazi now become, and he was so happy to hear about the development. So, and I had an extensive discussion with him, and also we explained to him quite um, exhaustively, completely about the implication of the development. So, and today, I even have access to, I even have opportunity of looking at the development once again. So, for those who may not understand, or who are still talking about Akuta, and then um, discharge. What was granted in that judgment is more fortifying than a quitter in, in the real sense of it. Because the court directed that, apart from discharging Onyendu Mazin Namdekano and consequently striking out the remaining seven count charge, which automatically brought to an end the charge under reference, the court made a specific pronouncement and direction order that neither the lower court, that is the federal high court, nor any other court in Nigeria we have the jurisdiction to entertain any further charge against Namdekan. Any further charge or indictment against him. So it has taken care of the entire thing. So can, if, they, if they if they want if they if they proceeded to go and find another charge tomorrow under any form of um, under any form any guys, Namdekan will not stand any any stand and try again. In fact, the, the effect of the judgment is that he cannot stand trial again. The Nigerian court again. So, and the federal government have no option to release him. However, we are not talking about <coughs> Namdekano's freedom because I've been granted freedom. What we are talking about is time and days it will take us to get him out, which is always al almost at hand. And we will continue to tell the whole world keep. Omochileke abreast of our undertakings and our strategies and our, st our steps we are taking to towards bringing them out. But the critical part of the strategy may not be disclosed to enable us achieve what we are planned to achieve. But be assured that Onion will be out any moment from this time I'm speaking to you. will be out. But when you be out, I will not disclose to the public. But we will hear from him in not in no distant time because the federal government of Nigeria on the authority of the government of the Court of Appeal has no other further option to explore in this case. Their options have been closed. The only option available to them now is to do the honorable thing by allowing them to to live where he is now. And it stands, as it stands today, there is no order or there's no order of court justifying 
the further detention of Nani Khan from that Thursday, 13th of October to date. So it's not being held illegally. It's not being held unconstitutional in the custody of the DSS. So there are no court, or no court, no court, whether magistrate or high court or federal high court in Nigeria, we should order again to, the, for, to justify his detention. That's the worst part of it. Because by virtue of this judgment of the Court of Appeal, all courts in Nigeria have been divested, under the High Court of the Magistrate Court, of jurisdiction to entertain charge, receive complaint, or any indictment whatsoever against Onyenduma. That is the worst part of it. So the option available to the federal government of Nigeria now is to release him. And today, we have served in the rest of the, the court, uh, we have served in the court order, also served in the court judgment. By tomorrow, we are taking a very serious legal, legal process against them. By, 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 by 11, 12 o'clock, I'm going to call a press conference to bring the press and also I got out there also, they are hopeful. So, but I may not say it here because that measure we are going to do, I take to my spot tomorrow or thereabout will be very, 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 very aggressive within the legal precinct we operate. So, and uh, at this point in time, I want to assure you that Onyendu is happy. I want to assure you that Onyendu's exit from the custody of the SSS is imminent. By time and hour is what I cannot be able to state here. Even when I, even if it's available to me, I will not stay. I will make it public for reasons best known to me and also too much in the uh, Because I have said this thing before now. Not if you go off a balloon saber, cable saber, balloon. When you go much in the cable, I am going to marry you. But I don't know why. So, um, I am a cool how to work. Okay, my cook is about any money, my language. What to 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 it is in order of court, and all that order must be obeyed. I have no option. So, uh, uh, thankfully, I've said it before now, President of the country, Buhari, has said sometime in the past, several have declared that he doesn't want to interfere in the judicial process. That yes, I, I, was, I, was, I was coming to yeah. that. I was waiting for okay. you to land. I wanted to ask uh, you, mm. a few months ago, some traditional leaders, Igbo elders and some... Uh, um, religious leaders and opinion holders and uh, few and some politicians in the entire Igbo land came and went to the president of Nigeria, Major General uh, Muhammad Obuare, and they pleaded for him to release their son, Mazen Nandekano, to him. Mm -hmm. And even when he visited Imo State, he insisted, even the same thing, he said the same thing when he visited Ibo State, he insisted that he was not going to interfere in the process of court, that he was going to leave it mm. to the court to decide the fate of Ferdinand mm. Kano. Now that the court has decided the fate of Ferdinand Kano by discharging him of all the charges and then telling the federal government, I mean the executive, not to uh, take him to any other court or not, that no other court can entertain any charges against him in Nigeria. Mm. Why are they not releasing him or why are they not taking it in good faith when the, this is all they've been waiting on? Or is there any other court mm. That they are waiting except this very one that has given us this uh very judgment the, the, law, the law is settled let me say this to you thankfully um uh, kudos to the president of the country uh, president mohammed Buhari, for his declarations and uh, for believing rule of law because uh, we are made to understand that he believes in rule of law so then that we come to um in right now let him act on the basis of law of the court of appeal you see one thing about you should know what you should know about this the recent judgment of the court of appeal is that this is not another or judgment of high court or federal high court it's a judgment of court of appeal and i'm not i don't think and i don't want to believe that now they've been formally served because from now to, from that thursday till date they don't know how we are the people to first obtain the citizens of the court, judgment of the court of appeal now they've been formally charged and the DAG SSS was formally charged i wanted to go i wanted to make some noise there today and i told you i would dance naked today yes but maybe by tomorrow I will show them my side. So we have to drag them. Uh, we have to go to the public and make sure I go to the office to make sure that beautiful is done within the legal precinct. But I, now they've been charged, filed, served with the process filing uh, with the order of court, order of order made by court court of, court of appeal. 
they have no option. They will buy tomorrow now, if you are taking any further step, either by, by initiating committal proceedings against the GSSS and the, and the president of the country, or by, or by, or by filing for that, for that legal processes. They will not, they will not have any, they will not say they are not aware of the order of, order of the court. How, also, I want you to also under, appreciate the fact that a chief state council was in the court on Thursday when judgment was delivered. But let me also assume that they don't have access to the judgment of the court, but today they have access to the judgment they have served them. Now, what's the only option available to them? Because even if they are going to challenge the judgment of the court, of which we have, we have no problem with, do not advise the constitutional right, they can exercise it. But the law says that, that those orders, there's a declaration by the court that must be obeyed. There are plenty of authorities on that, in that regard that said, you cannot be in content of court order and be seeking equitable remedy from the Supreme Court. They cannot indulge you. The Supreme Court will ordinarily ask you to go and obey that order of court. If the authority from that, you can make out the go against the Lagos State Government. We also have recent case of Western uh, against FRN. You can't be in court in, in, in the content of court order and be asking the Supreme Court to, to assist you to, to assist to accept the appeal. No, you must go and obey that order. So we are certain that they must obey that order. We are, there's no two ways about they must obey that order. And that's the only option available to them. Obey the order, let's go back to the Supreme Court. We use our client, we can go back and sort ourselves out. Right? Legally. So but the order of court must be obeyed. Order of court must be obeyed. There's no two ways about it. I'm not begging them to obey it. They must obey it. It's the order of court. When they when they when they kidnap him in Kenya on 19th of June 2021 and 2021, detained him for eight years, uh, subjected him to all forms of torture and inhuman treatment before he was criminally smuggled into, into Nigeria and consequently taken to court on 29th of June 2021. He was eventually sent to DSS court facilities for detention on the order of court and obey that order. We challenge that order before the court. The court says it's order. I didn't make this order. An order must be obeyed. Now the superior court has counted and set aside the order, set aside the entire judgment, set aside the charge, suck out the charge. So as it stands today, as it stands today, being 17th of October 2022, Onyen Duma is being illegally and non constitutional held in facility of the SS. Because order detaining him there has been struck out. It was struck out the order, the, the, the order detaining him and the right charge giving rise to that order has gone. That charge died on the 13th of, uh, of October 2022. That was last week. And and it was buried around 8 30 in the evening. And the funeral and the funeral ceremony continues. And so uh, it will not end until further notice. It, it, it cannot be caught up again, it cannot be resuscitated, it cannot be revived. The child cannot be revived under any form. Can't even revive. Can't even revive another charge against him. Court said no. You won't do it. So they must obey that order. Thankfully, it's just necessary. They will obey. They will. They will. They will. They will. They will. They will. They will, they will, they will, they will meddle or interfere with judicial process. We believe him. We believe him, and also believe the AG Federation, who have, who have formally communicated today. An order was formally given to him. The judgment was also formally served on him. Same as applicable to DGSSS. They will all receive our they receive our award if you will last one last two they receive our award. So they will do the honorable thing by complying with court order. Because it is a, a country of political constitutional democracy that where rule of court rule of law is supreme. So they must obey the order of the court. Certainly no doubt. We're not begging them to obey. They must obey it. It's a must. I didn't I didn't make that order. But it's a default didn't make that order. Uh, it's for order made by the by their own court. So now the kind of came to their own court and defeated them. It's not true. So that's all that they made by their own court. Those will be like them. So you don't know, have any clarification. I'll wait till tomorrow. So because tomorrow we are going to go, we are going back to where we come from. Yeah, come thank from. you very much, Barisa. And uh, uh, people back home and uh, worldwide IPOB men want to know: Did you see Onion Dumas and Namdekano today, and how was the feeling? Onion like? was exceedingly happy, delighted. In fact. I don't know how to, I don't know, I don't, I don't know the adjective I used to describe the man, his happiness today. In fact, as a matter of fact, I sang with him today, we are singing, I, was, I, I told him that, uh, you see, I'm the boss today, I'm going to, I will conduct service today. We were singing, he was so happy. So, it's such a phone answer, I said, well, I don't go to this, but he was happy, you know, just say this, he was happy, so. And, um, uh, I won't say other things, but he's very, he's very happy, and, um, 
very happy and uh, expectant of leaving that place anywhere from now. I will stop at this. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you very and much. Pastor. Thank you for your effort. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for your effort. Thank and you. Um, I must commend you. Commend you for and your forthrightness and being here for us all the time. Remember, bless. I'm watching the Chukwu Zono. Eh, I'm an American. I pose. I'm on Zana. I pose. I'm on Tos Zana. So I'm from my send that cross. So this night, send them a champagne. What are we going to have? What are we going to have? What are we going to have? So I'm going to have. I'm not touching my. I'm not going to. I'm not going to require them. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. So go and be happy because if I'm going to go, I know girl. I'm not going to be a kaja kaja. I'm going to be a tuetu gomi. I'm going to be a tuetu gomi. Thank you very much. God bless you. Agocha. Thank you very much, Barista. We really appreciate. We are holy, 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 from here, from now, we're saying goodbye. Thank you very much.